All right, everybody, what's going on today? We're going to be talking about solving for Ohm's law and how that is applied uh, in electricity and why you want to know it, because it's definitely one of the foundations um, of all the math involved. So this will just be a quick overview on how to do it and a quick, easy way to remember it. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so really to just do this the simplest way, this is the easiest equation to remember, which is V equals I times R. V being your volts, I being your current, and R being your resistance. Um, another really easy way to remember this um, is to do this little guy. Um, I actually like to put a triangle here. I like to call it the power triangle, even though it's Ohm's law, not Watt's law, but we can get into that later. And the easiest way to remember this is if you're looking for your voltage, <clears throat> you can cover the V with your finger. And since these are next to each other, you know that equals I times R. Uh, another way to explain this, you know, say you're looking for your current here, you can just cover that, and you know that your current equals your voltages divided by your resistance. And lastly, say you're looking for your resistance here, you can cover the R, <clears throat> and then you know that your voltage needs to be divided by current to get your resistance. So again, cover the V, you get I times R. <clears throat> cover current, you get voltage times resistance. And cover the R, and you get voltage divided by your current. Um, another real quick example, just to kind of show how this would work. Let's say you have a circuit here with a 120 volts <clears throat> starting and a um, resistance of 60 ohms. <clears throat> uh, so this ohms here is going to be equal to your R. This 120 of your motor, or whatever, um, would be 120 volts. Uh, and then you have your current flow. And let's say that that is... Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Say that that's nothing. Um, so we don't know what our current is. This is more what an equation would look like. Um, so you are going to be looking for your current here based on this equation. So we can go back up here, and we know that I equals V over R. Therefore, I is going to equal, what did we have? 120 volts. That's what you're gonna see mostly, especially in America. Um, <clears throat> divided by your resistance here, which I made 60, just so we can do some quick math. So now you know that your current total is going to be two amps. Oops, two amps. So yeah, I would say that's the easiest way to do the math. Uh, that way you can remember everything. There are a couple other equations. Um, which maybe I'll, I'll probably go in depth more and show all the different equations to figure it out. Uh, once I get more into it, we'll consider this video one um, for math and I will go into Watt's law on the next video. Um, and that's it, have a good one everybody. Hope this helped.